the Parliamentary Broadcast and Library Committee now want the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation to include parliamentary live broadcast the sessions of parliamentary committees. Speaking during the induction meeting in Mombasa County, the committee argued that the business discussed in the preliminary are as a result of reports from the committees. Speaking in Mombasa after engaging the national broadcaster, the committee chaired by Turkana West Member of Parliament David Nanok said KBC is in partnership with the Parliamentary Service Commission in terms of broadcasting and there is need to improve the signal coverage of parliament proceedings and include committee sittings whose reports run the business of the House. Parliament in the plenary is actually engaging on the work that has been done and reported to the plenary by the committees of the National Assembly. We currently have 44 committees of the National Assembly and those committees would, if, if anyone, if any person wants to know what parliament does, then they need to know what the committees of parliament are doing. And so that is a matter that we would want KBC to look at. They also need to look at uh, their, their, their profiling in terms of them being a, a media of choice for the public. He added that the contract between the KBC and Parliamentary Service Commission need to have monetary value so that Parliament is given proper coverage and legislators telling their own stories. The 2010 constitution under the public participation aspect gives parliament the greater role of ensuring the public get engaged in matters legislation. I think we want our public, the Kenyan people, to know exactly what is happening in parliament, how their parliamentarians are, are representing them, and therefore the broadcaster has a job on, his, on their hand to be able to give that broadcast the way the Kenyan public would wish to have. We should be able to inform the Kenyan public and the world how and what is happening in the National Assembly and the Senate which is the Parliament of Kenya. KBC Acting Managing Director Samuel Maia said the corporation has agreed to get into details on how the seamless coverage will be done both on TV and radio. He added that the committee intended to know the plan for KBC in enhancing national coverage. Maina, however, said this will require a lot of investment. All these members, we require their support in order to improve the budget for KBC that comes from government on mainly public broadcasting service. At the same time, we are alive to the fact that broadcasting equipment um, get tired in about 10 years. And we have agreed with the uh, parliamentary broadcasting and uh, library service that parliament in partnership with KBC will look at the equipment on both sides, both at PBU and both at KBC to enhance the clarity of our signal on both radio and TV. KBC broadcasts live parliament proceedings for 12 hours on three days a week, Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday morning and afternoon sessions and Thursday afternoon both in National Assembly and the Senate. Michael Moniga, Full Time News, Mombasa County.